aside from the basic science, there's also a consortium of research kind of going on with this project. First is led by Lincoln Agritech, and um, they're looking at some specialized equipment both at the Mars site and downgrading to the Mars site. And what they're trying to get after is the dispersion of, of water as it moves through aquifers. Because in Canterbury and really nationally, one of the big things is what happens after nitrates leave overseer. When they go into the ground, where does it go? And so this project, although it's not nitrates, it's the opposite, it's a clean water plume. We're trying to help progress the science beyond debate about how things move after they leave this modeling software that we're, use, that we're using to manage farm management and try to really understand, particularly in the Canterbury Plains, how clean water might move through. That'll teach us a lot about how long things move through the system, how quickly they move through them, and give us a lot of really good information. Also, Canterbury Health Board is involved in this project. One of their mandates, obviously, is to help promote and get awareness out there about drinking water supplies. Um, so they've um, working with Ashburn District Council, and they've offered free, free um, water quality sampling. They sent a letter out and asked who, who wants their water quality sample for E. coli and nitrates. They've gone out and collected that information, and now we're going to run the MAR project, and they're going to probably canvas those people again and see how things went. And then also, I, I look for both those groups to kind of weigh in and provide technical review and sort of, uh, you know, sort of create a robust environment where we debate, discuss, see what the results say uh, from the project as a whole. We've also brought in um, Peter Dillon, who's a world expert on managed aquifer recharge. He's out of Australia, and he'll be peer reviewing the project as part of a subcontract arrangement. Um, and uh, and then obviously the whole ECAN team, as well as the folks in the community that, that know the area and that working group, will all be part of the review and understanding of it.